Okay, after constant interruptions, we can finally get back to it. Oh yes, I am recording. I thought I'd done a Mr. Fenway there and not recorded. Oh, what? Why am I going that way? Oh, shit. You see, unless if it's an Atari joystick-based control, computer controls just do not work for it. Unless, of course, the uh, previous controls were Atari joysticks, to which a dog turd on a top of a box is an improvement. I do not like the Atari joystick standard. I kind of find it an absolute pain in the arse. Don't care whether you like it, I don't, so it's crap. Don't try to argue this case, it's just a waste of time. It's something that is more representative than actually a decent controller. Might as well take that one out from there. Freeze that one. Forget where the jump button is, try again. And actually jump this time. I can't remember what's down here. One of these. There we go, and we're ready to go. Oh god. Ah. There's them walkers. They're known, they're just known as walkers. For any Turrican fans out there. Come on, blow up. There we go. I love how everything just explodes on this. It. <laughs> it's just typical sort of action y stuff. Everything has to explode. It's like cars exploding when you shoot them on games and films and that. They don't actually explode when they're shot in real life. The amount of myths Hollywood creates is actually quite funny. You know what's up going up there? Sorted. Oh yeah, apparently this bit does have a bit of an awkward jump on it, but when you figure out the exact things of this, it's not too bad. However, I do prefer being able to jump higher in Turrican too. I still have to say, this is an absolutely bloody awesome version of Turrican. This is the awkward conveyor, which isn't too bad, but for currently it's proving to be an arse. It's in a, like someone else's review of Turrican on this particular... Well, I say system, I'm just playing it on my laptop, but you get the idea. There we go, we got over it without too much problems. Well, that means we're going to spawn down the bottom. No, we're going to spawn back at the beginning of the level, so let's continue just for the hell of it. Yeah, that level is quite tough. This is Turrican's a game you need practice at because you will not get far otherwise. I have to agree with Jim when it comes to arcade difficulty being quite frankly taking the piss on consoles. And my back's itchy, but I'm not really in a convenient place to scratch it. Oh, I hate these things, they're such a pain in the arse. Die, good, you're dead. Well, it was dead for a short amount of time, then you have avenged it. Go to hell. Ah, oh, die, you bastard. Revenge has been had. Sort of. Uh, you know what's not going over there, it's a waste of time. It's a waste. Sorry if this is getting repetitive if when I die and play through the level again, but I didn't get exactly far. And as always, in sheer game logic, everything explodes because eh, it just looks more fun. It's like a room filled with petrol. I have to say, why you Americans call petrol and diesel gas, God only knows, because it's bloody liquid, it's not gas. I never understand that, unless you lot can define the logic behind it, because I don't see any, to be frankly honest. If any of you would like to highlight why the hell that is, please do tell. 
Aha, I gotcha. Sod the walkers, they can burn in hell. Well, they won't burn if they're going to the flame jets. Actually, if we can get that thing frozen so it stops shooting bloody smarties at me. If you look, these are actually shooting smarties. Man, it's making me wonder. This, this is definitely should be on an advertisement for Smarties. <laughs> Optimum. That made me look pro, although, to be frankly, I'm not anything but pro at this. I'm good, but not pro. I wouldn't even sound that great. I'm sort of still pro. I would highly recommend, like, stuff. Jim, you should do a playthrough of this. I'd like to see you do this. Because you will probably watch this, I imagine. Especially if I make it into parts, that seems... Hey, what do you know? I've fallen all the way back down here. How utterly annoying. Under normal circumstances, I'd probably be pissed off about that, but... I'll do game reviews, it's just like you. But actually, I'll probably just sod it. Who cares? It doesn't actually matter. What actually does matter is getting the work done, not failing at Turrican in a million times. At least it didn't fall all the way down the bottom. <laughs> Into the sump shaft. Yes, underground facilities fascinate me. I have an interest in underground facilities, yes. They're awesome! Oh, almost fell into the pit again, and back to the beginning. Oh yes, you can tell I'm utterly concentrating to hell. I'm kind of just running in, just... I'm sort of concentrating on the game, just blurring out shit, which is kind of why this isn't a review. It's just kind of me just rambling while playing Turrican. <laughs> because it's fun. This is a game that's too fun and not all. Oh, I didn't see that before. I'll get to oh, hang on, maybe that has something to do with it. Oh, you. I don't have a clue. Because I am a pirate. Yes, I am a pirate, and I don't know why I... I you know, I'm just not thinking, I'm just kind of... Don't think, who needs to think? I've done thinking all day, I'm at university, so those of you who have been will know what it's like. At the end of the day, you just want mindless fun. And this is perfect for it. Great means of violating rusty penises. Who the hell is it? What inspired them enemies? I really don't know. I think I'm near the end of the level now, which is just in time, because I'm pretty, yeah, this is the end. This has to be the most, well, kind of the first bit of the boss is kind of pointless, it's just like these laser things, which somehow I still managed to get hit out on that rubbish. I think it's something just to follow, throw you into a false delusion, but even the boss isn't that hard, you'll see. Hang on, let me just pause and check the camera. Uh, yeah, we should be able to kill the boss in that time, I think. That is a big thing. Somehow I still managed to get hit like that. It's like this giant smiley... Here we go, here's the boss. Here's the main boss. It's basically a smiling robot baby face, which is evil looking. See what I mean? Chubby cheeks, a look, sort of look of a robot evil baby when it decides to move. It also has a bit of a funky tune to it, which is kind of cool. And then it does that like, sort of digital laugh and then spits out smarties at you. There we go. Sadly, them smarties aren't the tasty variety, they're the dangerous. And as you shoot it, the sprite scaling decides to make it get bigger and bigger. There we go, it's doing another one of digital laughs and spitting smarties at me. It's 
kind of an amusing boss actually, it's kind of funny. There we go, now it's dead. It was funny, now it's dead. Now we just wait for the game to let me continue. And then I shall do the card thing. That's crap. There we go, next level we shall do the card thing. Now we're on to the levels I have not managed to get past. So I shall do the card thing that I need to do and meet you up ahead. And there we go, focus sorted. This hard drive is getting full, I'm going to have to switch to the 500 gig probably before I get to finish this off, which is fun. Door locked so I can't be disturbed and back to what I was doing. Now hopefully I don't end up waking people up over time. Somehow I've got to get up there. That's how. Sod it. <laughs> Yes, now they have like weird faces, the little walkers and crap. And stuff like that, really. And of course, skis. Is that an eye? I think it's actually an eye. I think they're meant to be goggles, but it's hard to tell because of the pixelation. Oh dear. This level is very linear, these are. They're quite fun, though. Energy. Well, the trouble is it always starts at the sodding beginning when you die, which is kind of annoying. Especially in the bottomless pits on this level, which would just piss me off. And jumping on them hurts you, which is just annoying as well. Things that annoy me about Turrigan. And there's a bottomless pit there. And I'll probably spawn all the way back at the beginning. Oh no, I don't, which is good. But I go down the bottomless pit anyway. This is probably where this series is going to end, till I actually figure out how to get past this stupid level. Where the lives are just, well, impossible to get to, and lovely crap like that, and the bottomless pits are nothing but a pain in the arse. Literally. They don't actually hurt my arse, they're just annoying. And where jumping on woolly mammoths kills you. I hate having to keep jumping, but then jumping the sodding icicles. Oh, I'm tired because I did Cisco till 9. If you don't know what Cisco is, Google's there to tell you because I really can't be asked. Basically, if you're going into networking, you need to be Cisco certified. This is where I spawned back in the beginning because it's a cock. There we go, what a prediction. I'm not a big fan of this level, I have decided. It's not my favorite. It's got nice music, it's got nice artwork, but... And I like the humor of the walkers. Ice skating. But it's kind of just too annoying. One continues left. Okay, so pretty much, yeah. As you can see, this is where it all falls apart. Hang on, I need to scratch my ear. Sodding hair, I need to trim my fringe. Yes, I trimmed my fringe last time myself. Why should I pay money just to do 10 quid just to do something I can do for free? Take it slower. And hope that doesn't happen. I do like the music on this level. It's just a shame the levels are pain in the arse. That's it, go down the bottomless pit. This is 
where I get spawned back at the beginning. No, I'm wrong. Well, actually, I'm glad I'm wrong in this instance, because that makes life easier. I say easy, I won't say easy, life is never easy. Okay, I, I am seriously bored of this level now. Go down the pockets and let's pick. Oh, great. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, I made it through somehow. Although I'll probably die by the hands of these walkers. Or skaters, as we shall now call them, just for the hell of it. Great, spiky ice cubes of death. Which are invincible too. And I'm almost dead. Bottomless pit. Avoid. Ah. Uh, okay, this is tense. Okay, this is end of level. Please be end of level. Yay, it looks like it is. Excellent, I've made it further than I ever have before. Interesting, I always make it further. The only thing is, this level looks like... Oh yeah, this level's another rat bag level. Because of that. <laughs> Game over. Thank you. So, that's where we end it. Because I... Screw playing that all over again tonight. Now you can see the intro at the end. Deep in space, which has red, shiny things. There's a planet that looks like a clown. Stargate 2751-11. Planet something. Population mostly home. Lonesome, the Avon One glides through the outer reaches of the galaxy. Suddenly, with a flash of destruction, the evil forces, the machine conquer Kankatus or something. I don't know where they got that from. Brutally, they freeze the people of this peaceful world in eternal enslavement. Justice, the cry of a billion souls, floats through space and finally reaches the Avon One. Approaching something the brave fighters of the US Freedom Fighters slip into their Turrican assault suits, ready to risk their lives for the innocent. It says there, but there's actually only one. That's a good little animation, I like that. And this is where it goes demos and shit and stuff. So that concludes this series till I decide to do a full playthrough of it because Turrican is awesome enough to merit. I'm also thinking of doing my own playthrough of Half-Life 1 from the beginning to the end. I'll obviously do it when I actually have the time to do it though. Also, another thing I'd like to highlight, if anyone knows any sources of where to get colour Atari ST monitors, do tell because I require one for my ST. So, thanks for watching and have a swell evening because I'm bloody tired. Night, fellas.